Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to use library functions for G strings. The first thing that you need to do is to include string.h. This will give you access to the library functions. Next, I declare a string named greeting of size 50 and I initialize it to hello. Now a very common function that is often needed is to check the length of the string. So I output this here with printf. This one will be ld for long digit. And then I add a line break. And here you see string length function, strlen. And I pass in the greeting. And this will give me the length of the string. So running this, you can see this outputs five. Five is the length of the string because I have five characters. It doesn't give you the size of the array because the size of the array is 50. So it really just iterates over the characters in the string until it encounters the null terminator. Now another function is string cat. And this concatenates two strings. So I use here reading. And let's say I want to append a name to it. Let's say I want to add John to it. So this one is concatenate or append. So what this really does is it goes to the end of the string, which would be after the O, and then it simply copies each of these characters into this array. So it will have hello so far, then it will copy the space and then copy J, O, H, N, and then put the null terminator there. This is basically what the string will look like after this method operates. Now, it's very important that you have enough space in your string or in your character array to accommodate all these characters that you append to it. If this were, for example, 10, or let's say 6, um, this would overflow and then it could uh, override any memory. Uh, you could get unexpected results. So you want to be sure that this is large enough to, for, to accommodate all these characters. Now let's output the string and see what we get. Now you can see it outputted hello, John, and then it ended. So before it was only hello, now I appended John to it. And this was the string concatenate function, string cat. Now there's another function that copies a string. Let's say string cpy, string copy. And let's say I want to copy Mary to it, just Mary, no greetings in this case. Now after this, I print out the string, so percent a percent s and then a line break and running this it will output mary um, because now what what happened is it basically wiped the string and then at the very starting at index zero it put m a r y and then put the null terminator to mark the end now another common function is string compare and this works with i use it in an if condition so string cmp for compare i use the greeting and let's say i want to compare it to mary now it's very important that i compare the result to zero you may wonder why it is zero because um, Zero technically means false, but in this case, zero is actually true. And the reason for this is that this subtracts one string from the other string. So you can have below zero, you can have zero, which means equal, and below zero means less than, and you can also have larger than zero which means more than. So it checks the lexical order. Now, if this is zero, I output 
both strings are equal and here I output what this is otherwise I output the strings are not equal and I add a line break here as well now let's run this so here you see it outputted both strings are equal now a common pitfall is to forget this one so you just check I want to compare if these two are equal and running this what you will see is these strings are not equal so this can lead to logical error there's no compiled error everything works fine but this returns zero the zero is treated as false and then it outputs the strings are not equal so zero here means equality it simply subtracts the character the way this works is currently right we store mary so it takes m minus m which is zero so zero that's the same character then it takes a minus a and when i say a minus a or m minus a m when i subtract a character from another character it subtracts the ascii encoding so every character has an ascii encoding which is an integer value and so simply subtracts from it and here it subtracts r from r y from y then it sees there's a null terminator it checks this one also has a null terminator and so the value was zero if there's anything else there will be a different value right let's say we have capital r um, so it would subtract m minus m a minus a r which is low has a lower ascii value than lowercase r so this would result in a negative value it would stop and return some negative value and so they they would be unequal now if you just want to check for uh, equality always compare to zero i hope this gives you an idea remember again that when you use library functions to always include string.h i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching.